Making flat patterns for cosplay can be a huge pain. Now, if you don't have a model that you can physically hang on to and create flat patterns like you see Evil Ted or Punish Props do, you can do it digitally. Stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how. Hello, welcome to another episode of Build Sh Stuff with Ben. BS with Ben for short. One thing that I see a lot of people doing is, is that you need a 3D model of whatever you're about to create a foam flat pattern for. Now, what I do for a living is a lot of three-dimensional computer-aided design. I'm not gonna show you how to design things, but what I am gonna show you is how to take something from, say, Thingiverse and make a flat pattern based off of that. This is gonna be in two parts. First part is how to actually create the flat pattern, take that 3D model and make a flat pattern. And we're gonna do that in Mesh Mixer. And then the second part is, is how to take Inkscape and clean up the flat pattern so that it is something a little more usable for you in the future. Don't forget to hit subscribe. You will find that down below. Also, leave any comments that you have about this. If you have a better method, then you know, let me know, I'd like to see it. The biggest thing about this is, is to be completely honest, is I do a lot of work in SolidWorks and it does everything I need it to, but it's a very expensive software package. With Mesh Mixer and with Inkscape, you can do this for free. All of these, all of this software is open source and free. I am going to make two videos. One is going to be the too long, didn't watch version. The other video is gonna be really long. This one's gonna give you a really quick synopsis of how I've done all this. If you want the long video with all of the little trials, tribulations, and how to work your way through some of the problems that you're gonna have, then click up here, I will have a link to it. And also down below, I will make sure that there's a link to it. These videos aren't combined to each other. If you wanna see the long form, watch the video below. And if you want the short, and I'm gonna figure it out on my own method or my own way, then this is the video for you. It'll be short, quick, and get you going. First thing that we need to do is you need to go to meshmixer.com, download it. Go to inkscape.com, download it if you don't already have it. These are the two software packages that you need. Next thing we're gonna do is we are going to go to Thingiverse and we're gonna download whatever file that you want to start making flat patterns from. I'm gonna take a Mandalorian helmet and we're gonna go from there. Once we've got Mesh Mixer, we're gonna import and we're gonna import that 3D file that we downloaded from Thingiverse. First thing we need to do is separate this into a bunch of little pieces and sometimes the files already kind of are. So we're gonna go into edit, separate shells, and you'll notice that the object browser pops up and you can see that it's broken it down into a whole bunch of pieces. If you don't see the object browser, come into view and you'll have hide or in your case, it'll be show object browser. So that will show it. This is the section that we wanna deal with. We're gonna come through here, we're gonna go like that, and we're gonna delete all the pieces that we don't need. So now we have this one piece. Let's go into edit, and what we wanna do is we want to generate face groups. Now this will make a bunch of colors on here and create different face groups that you can see. Now the angle threshold is what makes, it separates all the pieces. So if we have a 60 degree angle threshold, you can see it breaks apart most of the pieces that we want, and we'll, we'll just go with that. If you do not see colors, press and hold the space bar and click on that button. You see no color, you see color. That will be why you're not seeing any colors. We're gonna accept this as it is. Now I'm gonna show you how to flat pattern this dome, okay? The dome only, the rest of it is gonna be very similar in methodology. If you want the details of how to do this, again, watch the other video that I have on that. There will be a link below on the extended version. So we're gonna hit select and we're gonna come in here. Now this is why we did that little face thing to create all those different colors is so that we could be able to do this. Now in here you can go to edit and you can do separate or you can hit the Y key. So we're gonna separate that dome. Let's just hide the rest of this helmet so now we only have this dome to work with. So there's a couple things we can look at is that there is a little bit of a hole Let's get in there and repair the hole. Let's go into select. I'm gonna select everything around that area. Then we're gonna to go to edit, erase and fill. We're gonna hit accept and you'll notice that that blue line disappeared and any error that we have seems to have gone away. Maybe, maybe not. There's always gonna be some 
surfacing errors. So come into analysis, hit inspector. You can see that there's some problems here. Let's see what happens when we auto repair. That cleans everything up. Oh, but you'll notice that we had this fill thing happen here. Let's go back. Let's go to inspector. We want a minimal fill. Yeah, okay. I guess we don't have much of a choice on that, the whole look of things. So one a couple of things that we're gonna do here to make our lives easier. First of all, we're gonna come in here. We are going to do a plane cut, and this creates a plane that you can cut everything with. It will go to the center of the object, and we're gonna get rid of half of that stuff. So we're gonna accept it. Now we've got those two faces. These guys here aren't gonna be any help to us. So we're gonna come into select, we're gonna double click on that face. We're gonna double click on that face so you can see those two faces are selected. We're gonna hit the X key and it deletes it out so that we only have that one surface to work with. Now, Evil Ted and Punish Props and everybody, including myself, like to take a dome like this and separate it out into a couple of pieces so it's easier to form and it glues together properly. So again, we're going to come in here and we're gonna do a plain cut make that vertical at 90 degrees. I'm gonna go to the right view and you know that looks pretty good as far as separating where the curves are gonna to have to be. So we're gonna accept that. Let's go back one step. We want to keep both pieces this time and we're gonna accept it. Now we have a blue line in there and instead of coming in and double clicking and trying to keep everything or get everything separated properly, we're just gonna do a separate shells. So now we have two different shells that we can flat pattern. Let's select on that guy there. We're gonna go into edit. We're gonna to go to unwrap and you notice this down here, it's created an unwrap. And we've got that little triangle, you can see that triangle in here. Why it's coming through is because we have by groups. So there's two different groups, but we're gonna do by component so that we don't have that separating that little colored group out. That looks pretty good, but sometimes you need to come in here and change it to conformal. It makes for a better flat pattern, rigid. Either one, the, both of these look good, but remember it's just cosplay. It doesn't have to be exact. This is gonna definitely get you in the ballpark that you need. Also, one thing that you'll notice is these red points here. Tell you where you're gonna have to apply the most heat with your heat gun to get the forming happened. So we're gonna accept that. And now we've got one flat of that piece there. So let's select on the other part of the helmet. We're gonna to go to edit. We're gonna to go to unwrap. You can see that that worked out pretty good by groups. We want it rigid or not rigid. It's always good to kind of play with this and take a look. Um, I generally try to get conformal. That works best for me. And we're gonna hit accept. So now we've got this piece here. We can transform him and move him around. And he will be sitting about here normally. We're gonna accept that. Let's take this guy here. Now in the objects browser, we're gonna hide those two pieces and we've got these two pieces here, the flat patterns that we want. Let's rotate this around and hit top so we can get the top view. So there is the two flat patterns that we need. Now we can clean this up and we will be doing that in Inkscape. I will be doing that in a second video. So stay tuned, you will get that right away. But in the meantime, this is how we get it into Inkscape. Make sure that those two flat patterns are selected. We're gonna export to SVG. And group color, I generally like no color, it just gives me outlines. And we're gonna hit export. And we're gonna do man02, which is the short attention span version of the video man01. Once we've got that, now remember you guys downloaded Inkscape. Let's open Inkscape up. We're gonna go File, Open, Man02. And then we're gonna get Inkscape to the full thing. Now you can see that the scale of this is incorrect. I will show you how to scale things in the next episode so that this will fit your head. But there you go, there is a couple of SVG files that we can work with and start creating flat patterns. I'm gonna show you how to optimize this and make it so that all the lines and everything are right. That again will be in the next video or if you want the way more detailed 
non Coles notes version of this, I definitely recommend you watch the other video because it will show you the kinds of problems that you're going to encounter on why things aren't going to flatten out properly. That's the video that you need to watch for a lot of those things. But this is the quick and dirty, show you how it's done, get in there and try it out yourself. Highly recommend you watch the other video. So there you go. That is the quick and dirty how to get it done. You definitely want to watch that other video. You'll be able to find a link for it up here or a link for it down below. The reason why you want to watch that other video is it goes into a lot more detail on some of the 3D models won't flatten out for you and you can't figure out how to do it. It makes you just go, Aah! that will show you how to take that mesh and convert it or edit it a little bit so that it will flatten out for you so you can get the flat patterns that you want. Leave any comments or questions you have below and also give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Very much appreciate that. And well, let's just carry on. Next video will be on how to use Inkscape to make a better flat pattern or to clean everything up. And again, I'm gonna do that in two videos. One will be the too long didn't watch version and the other one will be the long extended verbose, oh my God, will he just shut up version, but it gives you all the little details you need to know to make something like this happen. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit.